Happy Canada Day! Welcome to our special edition of Total Jank Games, where Sweet and Salty and I play in true patriotic style with red, white, and boros decks. Join me live every Wednesday and Saturday from 7 to 11 on Twitch for your chance to win random prizes. You can find my links in the description below. A special thanks to our sponsor, Cakey Bliss. Check her out at cakeybliss.ca. Be sure to like, share, and leave a comment below. And if you want to see more Total Jank Games, just hit subscribe. Thanks and enjoy, guys. All right. So, sweet and salty, have you decided on what your first deck is going to be for tonight? Oh, that makes sense. I don't know what your order is. What's your first one? Cycling. Okay. So it's Canadian Flare is what it's called. Uh, how many red? How many decks did you come up with? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. All right. So it looks like your second deck, the Flame on Hoser, is your bigger deck. Uh, yeah, that's my big red. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you're going to play a small aggressive deck, maybe I will play the. One Nota deck against your. Yeah, I'll play the One Nota deck against your Boros deck and see how that goes. Against my cycling deck? Yeah, sorry. Absolutely, against your cycling deck. Uh, let's set a challenge. Tournament. Sweet and salty. Challenge. What deck did I say I was going to play? <laughs> now, all of these decks are going to be literally just for fun. So, uh, I mean, we're going to keep score, but we're not really keeping score. <laughs> All right, who goes first? Doom, 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 doom. Who won the coin flip? I did. All right, so then we will leave it on your screen. I'm gonna turn that screen off so I don't actually know what you have. I was gonna say I got a really good keep. I got a no lander. A no lander? <laughs> oh. I didn't try and pick sleeves according to Canada today. Oh well. I didn't either. I picked sleeves according to the deck. Well, it looks like these ones don't. This was your last deck that you chose, so uh, it didn't have any sleeves. Oh, yeah, I didn't have any of that skill in for this. No. So, uh, I got a sleeve for today. Happy Canada Day. I got my shirt. Du, 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 du. I got my hat. I got my shirt. Well, I can see it. That's all that really matters. That's all that really matters. This is my own deck. This is Winota deck. Should have wrote down what I was playing. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but I didn't want to. I wanted to try and match up the decks so they'd be funner versus just playing whatever. Uh, I'm gonna play this guy. Ah, it's all good. Got my Canada Day drink. Oh, what the heck? Bye, puppy. Bye. Woo. She's got a wolf that just keeps on... Wolfing. Wolfing. Are wolves Canadian? We have wolves, yeah. We have wolves, but they're not a Canadian animal, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, not... 
Oh. Right. Take that. Hey, <laughs> how did you like them apples? Hey, I am very loud. Very excited. You know, it doesn't seem to matter how much preparation we do. Right before uh, I go to stream, something goes wrong. <laughs> What is that? Oh, I hate that card. La 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 la. That is a massive binger winger. Mm, this will pass. That enchantment is nuts. It's gonna kill me. It's a 5-4 with Trample, has haste in addition to its other types until end of turn. <gasps> I don't know why I'm so excited, but I am totally excited. I actually think this is a really good matchup against Feather. Uh, against Cycling. I have all of the decks in my head. What do we want to do? Do we want to trade? I mean, I think so. <sighs> I think we're going to pass one more time. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, no. We'll block. We'll block. I'll activate his ability. Give it indestructible. Let's do that. So, what are you guys doing up for Canada today? Anything exciting? I mean, the sword is watching us. Oh, oh, so you have trample? What a waste. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, I clearly wasn't paying attention. Oh, yeah, I think I'm just dead. Game one is in the books. E. <laughs> yeah, it's my turn. E. All right, what do we got off the top here? Not what we wanted. All right, so uh, those create ten. I attack. I put six, nine. No, six. Not enough. To <sighs> I mean, whatever, right? <laughs> you only live once. Yeah, eh? How do you like them apples? Eh? <laughs> oh, they got trampled. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, I... <laughs> uh, so that's 10, 12, coming across. I double block one, that's still seven. That was a good run, eh? <laughs> oh, 
come on. You know, the beauty of it, doing this uh, thing for Canada today is that uh, we have no blue cards. No blue cards, no black cards, no green cards. <coughs> it's all pretty much uh, whatever you can muster with what you have. Okay, sideboarding. We are sideboarding. Oh, definitely need this and this just to survive. Uh, I need this too. I need everything. So let's take out this guy and this guy. Gotta cut two more cards. Gotta cut two more cards. Gotta cut two more cards. Oh, that's not really what I want to cut. There we go. I think that's good. I'm good with that. Let's see how game two goes. Ooh. Aha! I had to turn the oven off. Good call. I'm just going to do a little adjustment to my webcam. See your chair, Teresa. Sweet and salty, but that's okay with me. Do, 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 do. All right, I get to play first. Boop, boop, boop. Oh wow, that is the single best hand I've ever gotten with no lands. That's a mall, obviously. Um, this is good, but we don't have white mana. Uh, I mean, I guess, right? Sure, let's keep this and see what happens. It's not really what I wanted to play on turn one, but I think it's better than nothing. Oh yeah, that's a good card. That's a good card. So we're just not going to mess around when it comes to that little fox. We're going to kill it. Kill the fox. See a fox, kill a fox. I hate all of these cycling cards. <laughs> oh, I have no mana. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, I have this mana issue. <laughs> oh. Excellent. Cost me two life, but that was well worth the. That was very well worth. Cycle. Now, I think the best thing for me to do is to trade with this dumb thing. thing. Right. Okay, let's see what happens. We're gonna say no. Gonna say no. Gonna say no. Oh, yeah. I'm a 
okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Oh yeah, I guess I should change the screen, eh? Since I'm on the play. Second one. Do they both get haste? Oh. Whenever a psycho card he gets haste. Wow. Uh, I knew that. <laughs> Take care of one of them anyway. But we need to figure out how to get rid of that second one because it's gonna kill us. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And it's got trample. That's such a Trade with that thing. That's exciting. I can effectively trade with it. It's too bad. The way this Boros Winota deck was built, there's only two Winotas in it. So it's not really all in on the uh, whole Winota thing. But uh, what? Close one, boys. Eh? <laughs> Get it. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with this. Wonder who's uh, wonder who's on uh, who's on the stream, who's watching the show. Anyone we know? That sounded so bad. Take this, one of these. Do, 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 do. And then we'll go all in. I think we just might pull this one off. can attack and block with it uh -oh. I'm pretty sure that's what we call cheating right chat cheating oh yay so this is definitely of uh, who gets to go first and doesn't get screwed on lands kind of kind of game Neither of us have screwed on land. But that's what I mean like so whoever goes first and doesn't get screwed on lands so if I go first and get screwed on lands you're gonna win but if you go first and don't get anyway all right, back to sideboarding. Uh, do we want to make any changes? Do we want to make any changes? How many red things are we afraid of? We're definitely afraid of... We are definitely afraid of that enchantment. That is one scary beast.
Game one, round one. One game apiece. I like it. I like it. So I think in total we have five decks for tonight, which I think is amazing. Um, Sweet and Salty said she's just going to go in order from what she has. I'm going to try and match up the decks so they're at least on the same power level. Like I'm not going to... So yeah, I know, but if, if I play like a, a mono red and you're playing like a really slow clunky deck, then it, it's not going to match up well, right? It doesn't... <laughs> That's a really good point. <laughs> oh, boy, I hate that card. Fine, 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 fine. Cycling. Blech. Cycling. Alright, how does this card work? Four damage, if I'm nine damage, four damage, four damage, just like psychic cards. This is so bad. Yep. Yeah. I really didn't want to do that, but. It was already out of range. I like when the wolf kind of cowers because I hurt him. Oh, this is just getting worse by the moment. Um, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do? I want to. I think we got to try and out race that enchantment. I was hoping to keep the red cap melee for the enchantment, uh, but playing the fox on one, I, I can't beat the fox on one. So, and I can't beat two of these. So this is going to get very interesting very quickly. I'm pretty sure this scheme is just in the bag already. And it's already turn four. And four for her. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough to deal with all of that. Unfortunately. I don't want to say pass. <laughs> oh, like, I can't even effectively trade with it. No blocks. Take 10, go to 7. <laughs> Take 10, go to 7. Who says that? Oh. So, I can either play a Bone Crusher and then try and trade with 1, and I would go down to... What would I go down to? I don't know. Or, I can hold both back, play a Bone Crusher, and then try and trade effectively, but then... She still gets trampled through. Uh, I'm definitely on the defense here, boys. Even if she gets trampled, I gotta try and just double block them. Really? play another bone crusher and we will attack with these two might as well start getting in damage I think she's afraid of me <laughs> yeah Yeah. 
Well, we were definitely a little too cautious in that um, in that game. We should have been a little more aggressive and not so defensive. Do you want to play that round, another round like that, with those two decks and see how they go? Or do we want to move on? Yeah, I know, but like, just because it was three games doesn't mean that, uh, like we can play as many, as many rounds as we want. with the decks that we've chosen, right? Especially if we like them. Oh, play them all out and then pick favorites? Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, moving on then. Um, so we played the uh, Winota 2.0 Canada Day one and Sweet and Salty, don't leave your screen. She played the Canadian Flare, which was her cycling deck. Now, if she goes in order, she's going to play Flame on Hoser. <laughs> which means I'm going to play my donation deck, which is from a good friend of mine, Nathan. Um, and I haven't played this deck yet, um, but I did uh, take a look at it uh, before, uh, like once I imported it and stuff. And it definitely looks interesting. It's more of a mid-range Boros deck with a really good late game. Uh, but from what I remember, um, Flame on Hoser. Why don't you click on that deck, Sweet and Salty, and I can go over some of the cards? Because it's bananas. And I'll click on my deck so you guys can both see where we're going and what direction. Oh yeah, I always forget about that triangle. And then you can click on your sideboard too. Oh, right. This is a Chandra tribal deck. Uh, and can you click, oh, make the um, enchantment, the two mana enchantment, a little bigger so I can read it? This one? Yeah, there we go. So, Maze Tomb. Uh, you put a charge counter on it and you scry one uh, for two and tapping it, you can put it. Uh, put a counter on it and draw a card and if there's four or more counters you can exile it and if you do you gain four life so that in a shy, tribal chandra deck uh you can unclick from that or move your mouse she's got draw brother rich for early aggression shocks to keep little creatures away and then both Shan all all the chandras um <laughs> the three mana chandra is really hard to beat the four mana Sandra is really hard to beat. Um, Ugin's always a hard card. And Chandra, Accolade of Flame. Is that Flame? No, I can't read it. Inferno just puts a clock on you. And that deck, I can't. It's really nuts. So, whereas mine, mine's a Euro deck. Uh, Yorion. Yorion deck. Uh, Charming Prince to Blink. Glass Casket and for early aggression, uh, Birth of Miletus to get uh, car to get my lands, uh, Omen the Red Omen for again early aggression, which I did not know, but apparently it's going to play very well into um, hitting Planeswalkers as well. Uh, Scorching Fire, and then my draw spells are Thrill of Possibility. Uh, in our three mana spot, we have board wipe which I feel I'm not gonna need <laughs> omen of the sun uh, archon of sun's grace that's just a good beater uh, Elspeth to help with the aggression shatter the sky which again I don't think is gonna be very good in game one Elspeth uh, conquers death is gonna be very very important in this first game um, and it's all going to be, I think, whoever can get to their Chandra Awaken Inferno first. And sideboards are just different sideboard slots based on, you know, aggression, mid-range, control. Uh, I'm actually really excited about this matchup. One, because I get to play a donation deck, but two, we're both kind of playing mid-range decks. I don't know if I like my uh, What do you mean? Uh, yep, because uh, if you go over the beacon one and enlarge it, it, every time you play a planeswalker, you gain life. Yeah, I get it. 
and mobilize district when you have planeswalkers that cost less to cat to activate so it's actually amazing your mana base is pretty bang on and then you theoretically only have one colorless land that really doesn't do anything uh, it's there basically for aggression so that you can play it and sack it uh, and, and wet the board against like a mono red or a mono black or a jun sack uh, and then you have you've run 19 reds i i strongly believe you are not going to have any mana issues at all so that's 26 lands that's exactly what it should be for you Usual control decks. Yeah, uh, but that's only if you're flooding or if you're trying to draw into stuff. But you can discard anything, right? Because you can only play one Planeswalker according to its name at a time. So if you have like three in your hand, you can like discard one and then, you know what I mean? So. Uh, you're gonna... Okay, so. Uh, challenge, tournament, coin flip, sweet and salty. Yeah! Bring it! Are you? Oh, that's fine. I mean, I don't know if you are, but what else? What else? Alright, whoever wins the coin flip, that's the screen I'm gonna be on. And we are going. Here's the no donation deck. Donation deck, deck, deck. Yeah, All right, yay me. I. Wow. Um. I don't know this is uh, sure this is very slow but I think we'll keep I think you think you think no one red land you don't oh wow <laughs> there you go So we're going to start with the castle first, because I don't have any white mana, and this way turn two is untapped. Oh, Blast Zone, eh? I was really hoping not to see that card in this game. Uh, I think we play this and pass. We have through all possibilities a good card, but I don't really see a lot of value of discarding. I mean, it's more of a for flooding out, I guess. I think I'm definitely going to play this on the next turn, simply because I don't have any other plays. And then I can bring that into my hand. Yeah, uh, let's play that, bring that into my hand, say go. Just saves me from doing that later. Looks like we're both off to a slow start. I guess that's kind of good. I'm guessing that's kind of good. Oh, do I play this or this? Hmm. I think, I think we want to maximize our mana. So let's go search for our planes, because we're definitely going to need another white source. That's what I'm definitely, definitely, definitely get. Get a white source. We're going to play this. 
And then we'll see how the rest plays out. Do, 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 do. Hey, hey. I'm dying to know what everyone's doing for Canada Day. Yeah, it's XX, so you'd have to... Oh, so then just... Did it on my end step? That's so smart. Mm. Yup. Ah, that was a really good plays. Okay, so now that she did that. We're going to play the smaller creature and we're going to do some scrying. We don't need that. I don't need that because we have our fifth land. We have more than five lands. So I'm going to play that. We're going to get another white source. So I think that's the right call. And then we're going to pass the turn. And that was a really good play on Sweet and Salty's side because taking care of that Pegasus, I really felt um, that could have been bad for her had she had not dealt with that. Ooh, the first Chandra Planeswalker and she gains life. Okay, so we need to read this. Elementals get plus two plus O, oh, add red, red. Oh, that's so bad. And she's going to shock us. Okay. Uh, and then minus two Chandra's deals two damage to any target. Oh, did you know that? Yeah, could have kept shock in your hand. Yeah, what else? Okay, so do we want to do this or this? Either way, that resolves. We pass. I think we do this. We're going to follow Sweet and Selfie's way of thinking we're gonna play a second red source and we're gonna play the big boy and bounce nothing <laughs> that's so sad so sad You know, you can minus X for five and not do that. And then you could have plus your Chandra. Yeah. Or, what Chandra? The one that doesn't matter? Right. The one that doesn't matter. Oh, you're just plusing your Chandra. What? That's all that really matters. Okay, so we are going to go get a planes. We are going to cast this on that. Because we will not beat that if she just continues to play it. Oh, Chris is online. Uh, what kind of jank are we playing today? Rip with Wi-Fi. I'll hang out when I get home. <laughs> well, it's Canada Day here. So we're celebrating Canada Day by playing Red and White Day.
Ew, that's not okay. <laughs> what kind of jank is that? Oh. Just gonna steal a card. I can't kill that. At least not on this turn. Oh no, no! Oh, it's a glass casket? No problem, you can have a glass casket. You can have a glass casket. I think we're definitely gonna have to crack Blast Zone if we don't come up with something. Because there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat that card. So we're going to play, no, that was so bad. So bad. Okay, so let's scry since I can't do the other thing. Uh, we'll keep that on top and we'll draw it on top. <gasps> Steal it from me. Alright, so what's the worst that could happen here? She pulls another Chandra. Are you sacking that? Yeah. What? I mean, okay. It's not, it's converted mana cost is zero. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just whatever it's on. Yes, yeah, see, yes, yeah, see. Oh no, get out! That's horrible. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to uh, discard that, drawing what's on top of my deck, so that way she doesn't get it. And save us all. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. It means she can still pull a card off the top of my deck. Oh, uh, what did she steal? Oh, nothing yet. Oh, Yorion! That's so bad. Okay, well, we're gonna block. And she has the mana to cast it. Just so you're aware, Sweet and Salty, you can cast that regardless of the color. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure that you need that. Oh, yeah. Double red. Double red. Oh, she's gonna cast the... Oh, that's so smart. So smart. Yeah. Good call. Very good call. So smart. So on end step, I'm gonna cast Omen. Create some one ones. Do 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 do. Oh, thank God. Uh, I think. I think at this point, do I, like, I have to block, right? Because she's going to attack no matter what, so she can play Yorion. If she plays Yorion, then she can bounce the casket. So I'll, I'll have to either attack, and then she can take one away, or I'll just, I'm going to have to double block. Double block. 
And she's got whatever she's got in her hand, plus Yorion, plus whatever card she gets off the top of my library. <laughs> None of this feels good. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so she gets Yorion. Now, do I want to draw what's on the top of my deck? I'm going to say no. Oh, whew, it's just a land. Thank God. She doesn't get lands. I am going to double block, though. But she still gets to play Yorion, which is a significant problem. Yep. She can bounce the casket, although I don't think it's going to value her anymore. Definitely gonna be playing this. Yeah, I think that's what we needed. Yeah, I think that's a really good play. We'll just say go. So I can't really do anything else. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna pass. Yeah, no blocks. That's the big boy, that's the big boy. No! That's so bad, so bad. So bad. It's the one, I I think out of all the cards I'm afraid of, besides the top end Chandra, this one scares the hell out of me. Definitely scares the hell out of me. I'm wondering if, no. Oh, see? That worked out well. We're gonna bounce Omen. We're gonna play. Uh, well, I happen to top deck one, which is the only thing that's probably going to save my butt in this game. Wow. Technically, what? Yeah, it's good. What? Your dog doesn't change? Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Mm. That makes sense. So clearly we want to bring in, get rid of the caskets. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Uh, that's probably a good card. Get rid of this. These. Down of hope. I don't even know how to play down of hope, but we're going to try. 
I think that looks good. Right for the sideboarding screen so the viewers can see everybody's. And then, uh, yeah. So I basically took out all my board wipes and glass caskets. I think that's what we're gonna go with. Yeah. Looks good. Oh. Canada, man, is it ever hot up here? I don't know what it's like out there or wherever you're watching, but whoa, hot, 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 hot. It's so cold, my drink is sweating. I mean, it's so hot, <laughs> which I'm gonna run and put that into the fridge. So, uh, for everyone in YouTube later on, when you're watching this, uh, in the comments below, I'd love to know what you guys did for Canada Day and how you celebrated. Uh, we decided to stream because we're going to have family over tomorrow. Uh, and uh, Yeah, well, nothing's open, but uh, we're going to have family over tomorrow and then uh, um, just enjoy, relax, do a barbecue. This is a very slow hand. Very slow hand. Very, very slow hand. Well, at least we both made our land drop. Oh, nobody liked that card. Sweet and salty. Great! Yay! Now I get to get picked to death. <laughs> don't see value in drawing here so I'm just gonna play this pass oh I think we're gonna have to uh, play this on end step maybe trying to check Chandra down <clears throat> whole working before and then streaming thing it's for the birds <laughs> Possibility. What the hell am I gonna do with that? I don't want to discard anything. Still on my turn? Yeah.
Ooh, does she activate Mobilize District? She could. And then one damage instead of two would hit Chandra. I guess. <laughs> That's actually pretty smart. And then she could activate it on her turn and attack for five. That's pretty busted. Yeah, what the heck, eh, Chandra? What the heck? Here come the bad boys. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, for reals? She's just like... Yep, that really works. That's for four. <sighs> Might need a coffee. There's nothing we can do really effective on her end step unless I want to, you know, draw, get rid of that and draw, but, like, I mean, I do, sort of. Oh, whatever. Let's see what happens. I'm not, I don't even have the mana to cast that, so. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep, that works. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I can't believe I don't have any land to play. What is happening? So hot. I don't know what Chandra's saying, but good for her. Uh. 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 What is that? Oh, that stinks. Three, five if you have a Chandra Planeswalker? Yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> that's broken. Broken, busted, cheating. Call it what you will. Do, 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 do. I'm going to lose this game. I'm not having any mana. Mana, 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 mana. So, does she be aggressive? Or does she play defense so she can continue to attack with 1-1? One -one? How important is keeping Chandra on the board? Is what we really need to know. That's what we need to know. Clearly, very important. And me being stuck on mana just isn't okay. Okay, so I can do the exact same play as last time. Oh, this time I think she's gonna activate Mobilize District, but I don't have a choice. So we have to try and attack Chandra down. We have to, have to, have to. Oh, she's letting it happen. Yay. So again, no mana. No mana, no mana. Go, go, no mana. And we will, what is that? Soul Seer, Seer. Soul Seer deals five damage to target creature or planeswalker. <whistles> that permanent loses indestructible until end of turn. What? Chandra. What? <laughs> Shh. Start, uh, how do you do it when you're like, uh, everything's distorted? Shh, shh, shh. 
Everything's breaking up. Everything's breaking up. Static. I think we're gonna have to uh, close down the stream and restart. <laughs> Distortion, that's what it was. Okay, so this is a great card to top deck. Um, and it's gonna do me nothing. So, I'm gonna attack the bigger Chandra. And then I'm going to kill the smaller Shanja. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to draw into and get rid of my big Shanja because, you know, that's just the right thing to do. And I'm going to play a land that comes in tapped because, you know, what else do I going to do? What else do I going to do? Yeah. What else do I going to do? What else do I? Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I'm pretty much dead here, so. It's all you. It's all you. Fuse, yeah, so that's two damage a turn. Wow. Oh, wow, that is just... This game is in the good old Canadian bag. Uh, yeah, because you, yeah. It's all good, you, you haven't really played with that card. But next time, try and uh, not tap that card so you can activate it. Yeah, exactly. Fine. Yeah, well, I just, I probably would have been pretty much dead at this point. Oh, you took two. Yeah, because you put one, you take two, for me two. I don't even know what to do here. <laughs> so I got a, no a Chandra at nine, a Chandra at four. I'm going to take two damage a turn. I mean, and then what? And then you wipe the board and I'm still dead. Chandra, minus X. <laughs> okay, so this is three and that is five. That doesn't get me anywhere near what I want. If I take that and... Minus, that is three. No, that's three. No, that's still not enough. Oh, sure. We'll Yori on. See what happens. Here we go. That's right. Oh, now I just don't know what Chandra to attack. I guess I attack the bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what do you mean with my little guy? It's all I got. Oh, come on! For realsies? <sighs> yeah, this game's over. You just gained some life? I gained two. Oh, you made more people? Yeah! What a crock of shit! Okay. Okay, threat mode. The. No, 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 no. Oh my god, what is that? That is me, me, Royal. Oh, this game's over. Mm. I haven't seen that deck in that, that card in forever. The Arkan War. How do you pronounce it? Akron. Akron? Yeah, that's just nuts. It's too bad it doesn't give it haste, though, eh? Oh, that's bullshit. But that's okay, you get to keep it, though. This game's over. You should have plussed. What's what? Chandra. I would have taken three on my next turn. Whatevs. I'm yeah, gonna die anyway. But I wanted to get rid of your little guys. Yeah, that's right. Get rid of the little guys. So on their next turn, I'm going to take, well, on her next turn, I'm going to take six just from her creatures. I'm already taking two, so you know what's amazing? at this point, I'm dead. You? Well, mobilized district only costs me one right now. Oh, yeah, this is great. It's a good thing it's not tapped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm at three. Ooh. Uh, gain life. 
Should I go down and poke? Ooh. Oh yeah, way to come very late, ECD. Oh. Yeah, game's over. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All I know is that I'm Jack. We're gonna do this. Yeah. We're gonna do. If you minus, sure, you're gonna, okay. you're gonna take. So you should. Oh. Oh. Oh, James. What is that? Need you. Oh my God. Okay. Hey, we can see it, eh? Whoa, eh? Whoa. Whoa. Let me block with my land, eh? Just for the record, chat and everybody in YouTube, we let her have that one. Okay. So we need. Uh, we need. We need. We need. We need a new deck. Where were you, Baneslayer Angel? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Oh, that was the best thing ever. Uh, eh? <laughs> Alright, we'll just play it back and see what happens. Take off, eh? Eh? Alright. Hopefully we have a better... <laughs> I don't think we had a bad hand. We just didn't have anything really... That was an easy one, too. Oh, we have no red. This is going to go very bad. I wanted to build an uh, artifact deck. Like uh, a red... Ooh. A red-white artifact deck, or a mono-white artifact deck, or a red artifact deck. But I just didn't have the time for tonight. For realsies, how many cards do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. La 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 la. Oh. And so it begins. So it begins. None of that is helpful. None of that. So I guess I could do that on. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what she said. She's telling on me though. It, oh, come on. For realsies? <sighs> yeah, that She's seeing a blad play, a blad play, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's a sacrifice to Marianne. Yeah, I know. Did you call it a good play? No. <laughs> it was a bad play. <laughs> We're going to try and take advantage of that bad play. Blah, blah, blah. the down part about magic. Like, as soon as you get stuck on lands, it's just game's over. Yep. Like, you pretty much have to uh, Yeah. That's just unfortunate. This, this has been such a really good round that it's, it's kind of unfortunate that she misplayed. 
doesn't matter. If I can't play any game in my hand, I don't play that. Yeah, I know. But I'm saying between misplaying and not getting any lands, then this is just it's not it's not a fair matchup at this yeah. point. Which I mean there's nothing I can do and that's unfortunately just magic and you know thank god that you know this isn't a tournament or nothing and we're just literally having fun but it's still a very unfortunate because then it's not as fun for both of us yeah, that's that's too bad that is that is not a win that I really wanted I had another Oh wow, she had a four mana Chandra if you didn't hear that, because I don't know how the well the mic's working with that over there. I had all the Chandras. All Chandras and no mana. Alright, Alright, let's just we're gonna update here. And we're gonna take a quick little break here. Streaker. Streaker. Alright, uh, and we're back. Okay, so Sweet and Salty decided that she was going to play, it looks like Paw, Paw, Paw Blade. <laughs> Paw Blade is the Winota deck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is going to be bananas. Yeah, this is not my play style at all, so it's going to suck. <laughs> okay, so do we want a mono red, mono white, what's your last deck? Or your last two decks? Uh, Cavalcade and White. No. Oh. Hmm. All right. So I guess we'll play Feather, and then we'll play against Red against Red and White against White. Okay. How's that sound? Whatever. I think we're fixing the wind, but go ahead. Sure. <laughs> I am not a cheater. Come on. That was almost so pushy. Yeah. <laughs> I am not a cook. That's right. Oh, that was Nick's MSN. Was it? I don't know. I'm not very good on my uh, MSN history. <laughs> I am so excited to play Feather. I haven't played Feather um, since. Uh, I don't know. It's been years, it feels like. Joe, can you tell me how to play this uh, I'm not really sure. But I get to go first. Yes, yeah, I'm playing first. Here we go. Oh yeah. Three lands, a couple things. I like it. Let's keep it. Discard. Oh, discard. Oh, this Winona deck is totally frightening. Only because I know, like, if she can go, like, curve into Winona, there's really not much that I have in this deck that can beat it. Oh, yeah. Ginger Brood on one. That's not a good sign either. Okay, so we are going to go... Uh... None of this is good. None of this is good. <laughs> I think if... Well, I don't think she's going to be activating her lands, but... Nobody. Nobody. This is all cards from, like, the original Feather build. But I just had to change them up a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, none of this looks good. So I say we go like this. I almost feel like I should be playing Winota in this deck instead of Feather. Oh, a 
I saw that come a mile away. Bone Crusher is an excellent thing to kill. Uh, I mean, Legion War Boss is an excellent creature to build. kill. <laughs> ah, can't even talk. Yeah, I can't change my dog anymore. I don't know if it was just because it was crazy this weekend or what, but... Huh. It doesn't turn into the flaming dopamine. Yeah, I don't know why. And I don't know what I want to do here. I guess... I'll just keep attacking. Ugh. <sighs> Do I... Oh yeah, that was not very smart of me. I should have played that. It had a haste. Duh. Oh well. We'll get it on the next turn. Get it on the next turn. Do, 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 do. Wow. Is it ever hot? These are two very good aggressive decks. Uh, it's all about hitting your pieces, and if she can hit Winoda with a couple of pieces out, then she's off to the races. If I can, if I can find creatures and like, obviously a feather is the oh. best thing. Yeah, it's all good. I really wasn't planning on blocking. I think it's all about aggression. Oh wow, that's not a fun card. Yep. <coughs> what is Ginger Brute's ability? Oh, you can sack it, can't be blocked, or you can sack it and gain three life. Huh, that's actually really cool. Very, very cool. No, I do not want that card. That card. That card is dead. <laughs> oh. My creature did not have trample. <laughs> oh, that did not play out the way I thought it was going to. <laughs> uh, that was pretty funny, actually. That was pretty funny. Take eight, go to something. <laughs> right, doesn't have trample. So I'm at three. Can I kill her on this turn? I guess that's what. Nope. She can make it indestructible. Makes it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is not. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe. So let's see here. She taps that. I attack for two. Not 12 is the, is, the, is, the, is the correct answer. I'm not attacking for 12, it is where we're going with this. So, 
So what's the crack back here? The crack back is in order to survive, I need to leave at least, she can make that an unblockable. So I just need to block one of the other things. I mean, sure. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Then let's attack with this guy, which will give me Defiant Strike back. Allowing me to draw a card. Did I do that wrong? I totally did that wrong. And there goes the game. She has, she'll discard, make it indestructible. She'll attack with three, six, unblockable, possible pump effects. Yeah, I'm just dead. Doesn't really matter. Whoa! That did not go the way we wanted. Like, at all. dead so I have to block <laughs> I have to block those two and then she can pump so <laughs> this is so much fun all right so we're gonna block the indestructible ones I mean, like, it doesn't really matter what I do. I'm just playing out my cards because I think it's fun. But I'm, like, I'm dead no matter what. Just so we're all clear, chat. She literally just pumps her dog again and the game's over. Or it's already over. Yeah, it's already over. Just like that. The game's over. Yeah. She can even pump it one more time. Wow, that's that good. And she didn't even get to play one out order. Oh, clearly, I was being a little too aggressive when I should have been not being so aggressive. Okay, sideboarding with this should be interesting. So. It's all small stuff. So we bring in this, trade out that, bring in this, I guess. I mean, that was pretty good. Don't really want this card, do I? I don't know. I, I brought in two creatures, maybe. Oh, yeah. Brought in. Two creatures that took three out. No. Two. Okay, so. Oh. Part of me just feels like this is a better call. And I'll take that out. And this card's just nuts if I can curve out. So let's do that. It's so hard to decide on how you want to sideboard against your deck. Coffee is the worst idea. I am so hot. <laughs> well, yes, you are hot, <laughs> sweet and salty. All right, I play first. You wouldn't know it based on that picture you put up. <laughs> Come on now, play nice, play nice, play nice.
That is not a fun card. <clears throat> We're definitely going to be a little more uh, defensive, I think. That's a good card. <laughs> we like that card. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go all out aggression. gotta get ourselves back in this game not in this like particular game but like back in this round sweet and salty's up one nothing yeah but you so you have to block first then then activate its ability. Yeah, that's shitty. card is so crazy that it brings it allows you to dig through your deck and put more playable cards in your hand like that's that's a really good draw card that's the kind of card that everybody should be playing okay so we're gonna play this land and scry because we definitely need to find a little more action here not really what I want, so we're gonna bottom that. Uh, we're going to go to combat, definitely, because we can bring fight as one back. Triggering that. Yep. to blockers. Not that I can do much, but... Yep. Yep. Oh, that is so smart, actually. Uh, it doesn't really... Yeah, I mean, sure. Makes it indestructible, so at least I'm gonna get rid of the ginger brute, but <laughs> yeah, fight of one is really good card. Really good card. Really good card. Happy Canada Day, James and Mama. Why? Oh, Mama T. I missed the T. <laughs> happy Canada Day, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Happy Canada Day. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Being safe. Being safe. We are playing Boros decks. Only red and white decks for uh, Canada Day. Oh, yeah. That's a big boy. Big boy. Can you 
Oh yeah, I'm working on it. Hey, that was really cool. For the first time I saw a giant of a really big shadow. Boom 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 That is not what we wanted. Um okay, so what do I wanna do here? Draw a card, I guess. I will draw a card. Oh, that just does nothing. So does that. That also does nothing. Okay, so we attack again and I draw another card. Might as well. Yep, 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 yep. Eee, we're gonna play that again, eh? Draw me some more cards, eh? Oh, what is all with the lands? That was like the third or fourth land I went to the bottom. And I drew more land! <laughs> Did Sweet and Salty stabilize at five life? Oh, did you know your little selfless guy? You could sacrifice him and make yeah. it. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, and I don't even have trample. No trample here. That's really unfortunate. Yep, that works. Yep. And you stack that, making that indestructible. That's seven. Yep. Nothing I can do about that. Yep, yep, that dies. One lousy one <laughs> goes through. <laughs> and that stinks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll just take all that damage. Her attacking aggressively like that either means she's not afraid of my 1-1 one, one, or she has something that can block my 1-1. One, one. See? So now is when I'm going to cycle my land and hopefully draw into something better because I drew five lands off the top. Uh, what happened? Flash of a non-toker trigger with exile instead. Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, well, I, I don't play one Nota. So I have, I drew another land, but I do have a Defiant Strike. Oh. And a Tef not a Teferi. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Well, I mean, technically, I can go up to four. Four. But then I'm just dead on the crack back anyway. <laughs> Keep pulling a little bit. Where? I can't. And I'm just dead. Oh, Feather just wasn't up to the task. That's too bad. Mm -hmm. You can pull back a little. You can pull back some. You can pull back some, babe. I know. And in the middle of all that, you never played Winota. Like, go figure, eh? Oops. You can pull back, eh, babe? 
Okay, well, I just want to make sure you knew you had room. Two of, well, still. Imagine if you had played it, though. She's definitely not built. Because <sighs> that's not built in that way. No, right? Okay, so I think what we should do is we should play the opposite. So if you're going to play Cavalcade, which it looks like is what you're going to do, then I should definitely play the Mono White deck. And then when you play the Mono White deck, I'll play the Red deck. I think that is what. Just for fun. So that way we can stick to the whole Red and White for Canada Day Canadian flag thing. Stack in the wind. Well, you can pick my deck if you want. Do you want me to play the red against the red? All right. Well, I definitely think. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's look. Let's. Look. Yeah, that's nuts. Okay. okay. So what do we got here? Yeah. See. <laughs> Okay, okay. Just go in order? Okay. Just go in an order. Just going in order, folks. Red against red. Oh, I messed it up. You're going to have to get. <laughs> Wait. Uh, okay. Ooh, I'm starting to hear a little bit of fireworks. Yeah, there's so much fun in my daylight. Uh, you're being sarcastic, right? Uh, I am. Right. Just making sure. Just making sure. Brandon, you haven't told us what you did for Canada Day, or did you pass that? Uh, this is definitely not what I want, but <coughs> sorry, we'll keep it. Oh yeah. You know, that I can rig. It's, fixed, it's, fixed, fixed, fixed. it's not fixed. It's not fixed. Oh, what is that? It's very grim in your shape. Yeah. I'm feeling very grim. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I just spent all my my power on killing it. Well, your whole deck is based around one ones, so I kind of got to not... Yeah. Yeah, what is that? Whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, Chandra is praying... Pyrling gets plus one plus oh until and gains double strike until end of turn. Okay, well that's just busted. busted. Oh now what do I do? Alright, I guess we attack. And then we wanna play this. Ooh, we're definitely gonna play this into this. And then say go. Oh, another one for realsies? Oh my god, there's so many more I think we're gonna go like this. And so one, two, three. Uh, yep, we'll attack. 
It sounded like sweet and salty. Uh, misclicked a few times, which is a very unfortunate in, in arena. Why a few times? Well, because didn't you know it you didn't? only one time. Oh, okay. I thought you didn't want to play that card the first time. I apologize for assuming. It's all about the cavalcade. If you don't have it, then. everything. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oh. I got nothing against an enchantment. Go on the defensive. Oh, my goodness, I didn't take that score. I figured they would have shocks or something. Two, Two shocks. Wow. Uh, yep, I agree with you. That's a little weird. And wow. <laughs> that is honestly uh, probably not a very. Yeah, like we probably didn't put enough thought into the deck when looking at it. So, um, I mean, yeah, I'll keep that. Oh, we just got a new follower. Thank you, Fox Slayer. And welcome to Canada Today. Canada Today. Where are you from, Fox Slayer? 
In case the mic didn't catch that, um, Sweet and Salty was just wondering where you're from, Fox Lair. Now that she's got Cavaclay down, I'm, sim I'm simply uh, holding off the inevitable. Like, I don't have... I don't have enough here to stop the overall damage. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take that. That was so cool, we finally heard it, eh? Yeah, I think that's actually amazing. Oh, for reals? Come on. All right, well, here's my big play. <laughs> oh, yeah, this game is way over. She, it doesn't matter which one I block, she's going to get another 1-1. One, one, and she's going to hit me for 4 before she even hits me. Uh, well, yeah, I, I have to block. Uh, yep, that's good and not good. So, <laughs> oh, see, it's the... Well, honestly, I think I just gotta try. That's what this card is in there for. And then let's just see what happens. And she's gonna hit me for three and a 12. Sure. I'll take the three. I gotta, I gotta put some kind of pressure on her. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Take three. Three to the dome. Straight to the dome. Yeah, resolve, resolve. How do I put pressure on her? So. Uh, yep. Oh, come on, that's cheating. Okay, so. Yeah, I played this out wrong. I want to see what happens. So if we bone crusher that guy, does she get uh, a zombie and a one one? Two one one. Well, that's what I mean. Like, do they both trigger? Oh, they both trigger. Aww. Yeah, that was. Four or greater. I should have got two. Uh, no, the creature that dies has to be four or greater. Oh. So, like, for example, if uh, Annex died right now. Yeah. Okay, okay, it's the same. It's the same, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. This is not gonna go well. I have to block everything now. So I'm gonna take three, two, I'm gonna take two, four, six, just from cavalcade damage, which puts me at three. I block two things. Oh, yep. I'm gonna be going down to three at the end of this. That, that was stupid. That was so stupid. I should have did this before you attacked. But now it's not going to matter. But I'll block everything and take six. And then I will effectively block, taking no more damage. She'll get a bunch of one ones. My one ones can't block her one ones. This is a great time. Right, well, so that's two, four, six. So I'm, <laughs> I'm dead just off the attacks. All right. So then we're gonna do this. Since I'm dead anyway, six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I missed it by four. 
Sweet and salty, I missed it by four. And then I'm dead on the crack back. Well, oh yeah, for sure. But even, even just by attacking with those three creatures, even if I was able to block them all, I was dead just from oh, the. That was dumb. No, oh, it doesn't. Yeah, not yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'm still dead. It was still dumb. I should have did it after I attacked. Yeah, I mean, what else? Okay, I just don't have enough removal or board wipes to phage off the one ones. So I pretty much have to try and stick creatures and grow them and trade. But I still need removal. Still need removal. Well, I really, really hope that everyone's enjoying their Canada Day and they're staying safe. Hi, Nathan. Nathan! Nathan! Nathan, you missed it. I played your donation deck on stream. Uh, and I can't remember what happened, but won. I won. But that's because I won because Sweet and Salty got mana screwed, not because I won one. Um, this I'm going to keep, but if I get any more lands, this game's going to end really quickly because I have two one ones. How's your Canada Day, Nathan? Wow, I'm going to die. But you can't block it, so I'm gonna hit you for two. I have four lands in my hand. I'm gonna die to all of this. Oh, there we go. That's a pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. race to the races is on uh, do, do, do. good I went for a walk in the nice <laughs> yeah in the nice 35 degree weather yeah that's a little crazy little crazy oh that's so smart that card had first strike Oh my god, that was so smart. Way to affect... And she gets a 2-2 out of that. <laughs> Way to effectively block. Duh. I have three lands in play. This game is over. This game is way over. I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 damage on this attack alone. I'm going to go down to 12. Yeah, but I get, I get hit from the Scorch Fitter. Hit from the... Cavalcade, and then the Scorch Pitter hits me, so that's three, and so I'm gonna get hit for five for this turn. <clears throat> and there goes five damage. Yeah, we're just gonna resolve all of that at once. Hmm. I don't have enough mana to do both, so I have to pick and choose what I want to do. And the problem is, is that she has a Cavaclade in here on board, so at this point she can just attack into my blockers anyway and still I'm still gonna die. Right? So I might as well. I think this is the wrong play, but I'm going to kill that instead of playing a blocker and pass the turn. Then you watched your neighbor, neighborhood, neighbor with my son. What? I have no 
matters what I do but we're definitely dead here it's an anime movie oh yeah yup 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 yeah like I know I can block her cards her creatures but like just by attacking into me into my board even if she's even if I'm blocking she still like I'm still dying to her creatures just because of Cavalcade. Like, yeah, see, I'm still gonna take two, even though I'm gonna block. Which is just. Oh, that is low. <laughs> I'm not gonna let it resolve. <laughs> oh, tied up the night. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I don't know what you're Mom talking about, eh? Who would have saw that coming? From me. Whatever, eh? I never play mono red. <laughs> you never play mono red? I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> I think you should be shocked. <laughs> that deck was actually not bad. If you land a cavalcade because of the way my deck is designed, red has nothing to get. Enchant enchantments off the battlefield. So I should have played white, but I was trying to match the power level. But now we're gonna play white against white. So <laughs> wow, that was so lame. That was lame, eh? Okay, so we are going to tournament best of three coin flip challenge, sweet and salty. Then we're gonna take our white deck, and we're gonna out. Black blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh Can somebody please give me some appreciation for my deck names? Can you cancel? Please. I just messed it up. Appreciation for the deck names. I don't know how to cancel. Hit play, and then hit cancel, because I suck. I double clicked on my deck. Uh, you can um, take a screenshot of all of your decks and then tweet it later. That's going to be cool. Alright, who, who's going to win the flip coin? Coin flip. Flip coin. Coin cost. Toy yeah, who's going to who's going to win the toying costs? <laughs> Me. Oh, whatever. Cheater. Wow, I have a one lander and just for pure spite I'm going to keep it. Myself. You teach. I'm good with that. Um, what does this card do? This is like... Right on. Uh, I guess we start with this card. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sorry, I was paying attention to the game, not the chat. My apologies. Doop 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 What would happen if I got another land? The crowd would go wild. You know, if you click on the crowd, you disappear. Shut up, for real? Yeah. I don't have a crowd. Oh, you're pulling them up. What? I don't have a crowd. Where do you think all those little speckled dots are everywhere? Where? Everywhere. Oh, the crowd. Oh, look at that. Huh. <gasps> 
Oh yeah. That's pretty funny, actually. Oh. Can you oh, that's see? A is it? Yeah, man. Is it? Oh, Canada. I don't even know. Remember, I don't even think I remember all the words to our national anthem. It's been so long since I sang it. How bad is that? We are definitely cutting that out of YouTube. <laughs> Oh, Pegasus. Aww. Pegasus, Pegasus. One, two, three, four. Get your booty on the floor. I need more mana. Um, so if I go like this, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. This is what we're doing. Yep. <laughs> that was very aggressive. playing Brax the Loxodon is to play as many of your creatures as possible and then use it to tap mana. Oh, that was aggressive. Oh, come on. Need more mana. Need more mana. Need more mana. Need more mana. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. I don't know the rest of that song. Did you say darn? Yeah. Oh. That's so mean. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So I gain enough life to do that and get me a 4-4. Four four. It's dumb. Dumb, I tell you. Busto. Broco. Bum, 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 bum. She's going wide, I'm going tall. Wide and tall, wide and tall. How much life do I Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. So tough because now we're gonna get into board spells, right? Like, how much do we want to trade off? No well, you have flyers. Where we can't block or attack alone. Oh. Oh. I don't even know how that works. How what works? Oh, I 
Attack or block with uh, Pegasus by herself. Uh, no, it's just two creatures have to be blocking. Well, I have 500 creatures. Yeah, I know, but I'm only attacking with flyers, and you only have one flyer to block. This, this deck is pretty nuts, though. Dies to board wipes, though. I wonder what it has in the side for board wipes. Yeah, those are a ton of white creatures. That boy down. Uh, what am I doing here? I guess I'll do that and do that. some sideboard action what do we want against that deck definitely not this uh, casket will do do we want Loras? no Gideon maybe plays around huh I don't think I want Gideon. I really like that Anthem effect. And I really like having just creatures. No. No. Uh, and I think we're going to... Ah, uh, yeah. No. Okay. So keep that in. To get rid of four cards. I'm not a fan of this card on the draw. So we'll just do without. We will just do without. So Mono White is all about creatures and effectively trading off. There's not much there in the form of removal. And if Sweet and Salty went the whole Planeswalker way, which I had Planeswalkers in my sideboard, but I wasn't really confident in playing those, then I'm definitely hurting because all I have are caskets, which don't don't do anything for those kind of creatures. Okay, we have two mana, so we'll play this. She can't block. So many expensive things in my hand, but only two mana. too fast. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, no way. Uh, yep. Get dead. Oh, yeah. Well, at least you're effectively trading with it, right? I mean, 
That's a good thing. Not enough. She can go lock it on on the next turn. There's no playing magic when you're only playing one land. Like, I would, I think we should totally redo this. One mana, anything is not. It's not fair for anyone. You know, for having one one mana, obviously, I think she's definitely holding her own. But oh, and she's even got a fight. Oh yeah, that's really good, actually. She did a really good job with that. Okay, so we want here, 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 here. I'll take this opportunity to say uh, welcome to Total Jank, all the viewers. Um, I'd also like to thank our sponsor, uh, Kiki Bliss, uh, a cake for every moment, uh, kikibliss.ca. Uh, evening, Joe. Hi, Joe. Joe. Uh, for all those who are watching, uh, or just joined us, we're pretty much, uh, just doing red and white decks. Uh, we did Boros. Um, so, uh, I played... Uh, Feather, uh, Winota, the donation deck from Nathan, uh, which I really enjoyed. It was a lot of fun. It's a very mid-range card. Uh, card. <whistles> deck? I'm losing my words. That was a lot of fun. I won only because Sweet and Salty didn't have any mana, much like the last game. Uh, and then 
Uh, she had Canadian Fire, which was Cycling, Flame of Hoser, which was her big red deck, uh, Paw Blade, which was Winota, Cavalcade, which she smushed me with, and Blackham. Black Blade. Oh yeah, right. Um, so that's our five decks. Um, now I think we're gonna pick our favorite deck and just play it against each other. Is that the plan? Yeah, but I didn't like any of them. You didn't like any of them? Nope. Really? Yeah. Do you want to pick any deck then you, you want? I don't have any decks. Hmm. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Excellent. Then I'm going to pick my favorite deck, uh, which was definitely the donation deck from Nathan. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that deck a lot. So this is the deck we're going to play. And to keep it as fair as possible... Turned off my screen so I don't actually know what she's picking. Stop looking over there. I'm not looking over there, I'm looking at the chat. <laughs> See, this is me grabbing the screen. That deck is good against creature decks, game one. I hope he's talking about mine. <laughs> hmm. Uh, this is a slow hand, but if I can get a fourth land, it might be good. And I go first. Uh, yeah, cheater. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep up. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. This card, Alpine Hunt, Hound Master, such a good card. Uh, okay, what do I want to do here? I want to go. Oh, I definitely want to hit turn five. So I think the most effective thing to do is to play this. I play that deck a lot now. Sweet and salty. Uh, her deck or mine? Wow. This is not going to go well. Okay, so this is going to become a very big creature. It's going to get two, four, then add to that. Oh, yeah, five. Oh, come on. <sighs> so I guess I'll block that. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's enough. <laughs> Is it enough to hold her off? Because Alpine Huntmaster can grow to a five again. Gingerbrew can become unblockable. And then she can tap a red and a white and give this first strike until end of turn. Wow. Oh, so that's unblockable. If I try and block that, she's just going to make it first strike. All right, so we're going to block that. Oh, I guess I have to make it unblockable first. Uh, yeah, when you move to combat. Right, 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 right. Or before blockers. Oh my good disgraces. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Okay, so I, I really don't think we're gonna win this, but we're gonna try our hardest here. So she's got first strike on <sighs> she's got double strike so even if I double block these she's still gonna get me for four and I have nothing in my hand so yeah I don't know. oh yeah so now it's gonna attack for ten so I can't block everything in this Uh, so she can give Tajik first strike until end of turn. Yeah, that's not very good. Uh, so we are going to try and block this way and see what happens. I don't know if it's going to be enough. There was no way I was going to effectively block that creature at all. I'm down to two. Yeah, so now I have to sit back and block or... So... what they're there for. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> okay, so she can pump the elemental dog. She can give Tajik first strike if she prefers, which I don't really care about because I can still effectively block it. And she's going to mentor onto something. Is she gonna mentor on two? Yeah, that's what I thought. So then she can give it plus two plus O oh, and it'll become a four. And this is a seven. Oh, what the heck? Okay, well I'm definitely blocking Tajik with no. I'm gonna block this with that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, None of this is going to work out well to my favor. Okay, so... Tajik... We have to get this off the board. And then I still die? I don't even know if that's enough life gain. To live! Beat the artifact with ECD. Oh! <laughs> yeah! I didn't think I could do that. I don't know why I didn't think I could do that. I guess I clearly wasn't paying attention. So that's the first strike. Oh yeah. Just dead. Dead, 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 dead. I didn't see any removal from that. Oh. This is so bad. Like, do I turn into a control deck now? Who the heck wants that? I uh, guess this is what I turn into. Sagas enchantments. Sagas are enchantments. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So it's a saga. ECD is yeah. Okay. Uh, 84 cards. What cards don't I need? I feel like... I feel like I should trim on these. Go for my one-for-one -one removals. So how's everyone's Canada Day? I want to know what you guys did. 
What did all my jankies do for Canada Day? Oh, that was so bad. I didn't even go to the sideboard screen. Oh, I suck. Uh, she would have had five power of the life link, and she would have lost Temple. Trample. Oh, yeah. Well, clearly I misplayed that. Yeah. I was going to say the same thing, but then she's going to, yeah. Yeah, both Joe and Nathan are trashing the way I blocked. And I didn't am sitting right here, you know. <laughs> You don't have to help him play. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is the tiebreaker of the whole night. It is the tiebreaker. Oh, did we even change that? What are we at? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Two. Yeah, yeah. We're both at 2-2. Two, two. All right. I definitely go first for this one. Bro, what's the floor? Bros. Uh, this is slow. I have it. <laughs> Joe, are, are you like trying to fish something out here? Uh, yeah, that's good. I have two removal spells, one off the top. I have a lot of land, so we'll just. Oh yeah, that uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't mind if we divorce Joe, but you definitely have to say that uh, I get the computer. <laughs> you know, it's too bad I can't stop that triggered ability. Because even if I wanted to kill it, which I'm going to. Hush, Bringer. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, Hush, Bringer. I don't have Hush, Bringer. Oh yeah, that's a good top deck. Okay, so that I think is gonna go like this. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Done. Oh, what was that? Uh, I always have these fleeting thoughts in my mind. No. Yeah, for reals. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know. I don't even know what it's called. I don't even know how to describe what's in my head. Winota. Wow, that's just cheating. Oh, I totally misplayed this. First time I've ever played Winota. Oh, what a fucking whiff that was. She whiffed, she whiffed. <laughs> it was a whiff. Uh, I think I have to do this. Yeah, well, that's all I got. There's the only way to clear your board. Only way to clear my board. Yeah. Bye, bye, Mr. Miracle. Good old boys. <laughs> drinking whiskey and wine. Yeah. Dry. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed to sing those songs on stream anymore. Copyrighted rules and blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. See? Want to sing those songs, eh? Nobody, eh? Nobody's answered, eh? On what they did for Canada Day. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, cheap shot, cheap shot. Going for the face, going for the face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, 
elementor doesn't trigger which is good but she'll definitely get three in there but does she really want to attack that's the question we are all asking ourselves does she really want to attack clearly i'm gonna attack with uh no she doesn't smart smart okay how many mana does this thing cost one two three Cost four plus it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and I have enough to do that. So that's good. Uh, yeah, I'll take that as a top deck. Oh, you know what we should do, sweet and salty? After this round, if we get a new follower, the new follower can tell us what to play next. Any two decks out of the five that we have. And they, the follower can even tell us which decks we're going to play. Like, you play this deck and you play this deck. We are not losing the opportunity to make more one ones. Oh, I wasn't trying to attack with the one one. Duh. Maybe she'll block with the three one. What do you think, chat? No? Yeah, I didn't think so either. Is that advice that you got from your group? Yeah. I don't think they want me to win. Maybe they do. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna open the curtain. Let some breathers. This is where aggro loses and mid range takes over. She attacks rather than anything, I go no blocks. Smell a trap. Maybe she's just, I don't know. Maybe I should have blocked. Yeah, see, it wouldn't have mattered. 10, 13, in the game. Bring it game number three. Why what were you trying to do? can't wait. Just so everyone knows, this is the start of a four-day vacation for me and a four-day vacation and a five-day vacation for Sweet and Salty. Some well-deserved time off. 
between work and life and everything it's just been too much too much and we get to see our fam tomorrow i get to cook a barbecue pretty excited about that i wonder if it's um because it's dark like people have gone to do uh Fireworks and stuff. No, like other people, I mean, like people that were in the chat. <clears throat> Good old boys. Now you got that song stuck in my head. <laughs> oh, we are definitely going to try and kill this. My guess is that she'll discard something, make it indestructible. Which, I mean, there's not much I can do if she does that. I'm gonna take three anyway. Yeah, discard a land. What the heck? Oh, that's getting close to what we want. It's getting close to what we want. Oh, sweet. Nice card. Nice card. Alpine Huntmaster. Fetches. I forget what it fetches again. Fetches two card. Alpine Watchdog. And or. Elemental. How do you even pronounce that? It's Cure? Igneous? Cure? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Cur. Oh, Cur? Igneous Cure? Cur? 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 Yay for me for pronouncing it correctly. All right, so hopefully this is going to be enough. But I have a strong feeling it's not. Ba, 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 ba. Glass casket doesn't kill it. Convert a man and cost three or less. Gasket? Uh, it's just the way it works. Yes. Canada Day. Oh, no way. Yep. Well, that kind of blows up what I was going to do for the next turn. <sighs> right. So, uh, my next turn... Oh, wouldn't that have been cool? That would have been cool if I could have played that card. Um, which one do I want? Giants have roots. Like, why do we have roots? It's so stupid. It's a giant. Uh, I don't know. Why is there an apartment building in here? I don't know that either. I don't design the cards. But, I like the cards. Oh, why did I think that Glass Casket triggered Arkham? I thought it was Artifacts and Enchantments. Hmm. I ooped on that one. Never an enchantment. Oh, that was a waste. That was a huge waste. I may just die. Okay, I definitely need to not stop. I need to stop attacking. Is what I need to do. <laughs> Come on, for realsies? What's more threatening? 
two bone crushers or an igneous. Yeah, we're giving you back your shit and taking the two bone crushers. <sighs> you realize if I had hit one more land, I could have played Chandra and just wiped the whole board. And because of my misplay, How and did I realize that? well, you, you wouldn't have. I'm not I didn't say that you were cheating. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to attack because I'm going to gain three life. I think taking the bone crushers is going to be better. What I was saying is like I don't know what's better. I just uh That's some shit, shit, shit. Oh my god, did I just pick the same bone crusher? That's even better. Oh come on. What the fuck? That's not very clear. <laughs> you have to wait for the arrow. It did! Didn't, obviously. <laughs> okay, so if I block the five, she pumps the small guy. If I block the small guy, I get hit. I'm dead either way. Yeah, this was, uh, this was a very bad... Oh, and she's got an emery cleave. So even if, even if I had taken bone, both bone crushers, she still would have won. Oh! Because I top decked the. Did you? She top decked the Ember Cleave? Yeah. Wow! And I won the tie breaking knife! Busted! Do you realize you came back and won three in a row? Aw, oh, give me a kiss. <laughs> mm. oh, yeah, that was pretty awesome actually. We are going to sign out. Um, and we're gonna go see if we can find some Canada Day stuff and I'm gonna get some dinner into me uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone uh, in chat and, and YouTube uh, thanks for coming out and watching a special thanks to our sponsor Cakey Bliss a cake for every occasion you can find her at cakeybliss.ca and of course sweet and salty for coming out want to come over here and say thank you Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. So, once again, thank you all. And have a great Canada Day, eh?